I think the Shinkansen or bullet train is amazing. It's comfortable, it's always on time and it makes it really easy to travel between cities in Japan and I just can't believe it's been running since the 60s. So in this video I'm going to show you what it's like going from Osaka to Tokyo on the Shinkansen. Now if you were driving this journey would take about six or seven hours but on the bullet train it's only two and a half hours. And I'll show you a few other things I found, like this mini vending machine between carriages. If you have any questions about going on the Shinkansen, just put them in the comments and I'll do my best to help you. And there's new videos about Japan every Thursday if you want to subscribe. Here's where you make your reservations at Shinosaka Station. <laughs> With a massive sign, you can't miss that one. Here's the entrance to the Shinkansen track. Here's my reservation, it says Hikari, that's the type of Shinkansen, number 522 and that number is really useful for identifying your train. We're going from Shin Osaka to Shinagawa, car 6, seat 7E. Here's the screen with all the Shinkansen on it and this is the one that tells you which platform to go to. You can see it switches between Japanese and English. And it's amazing that these are the trains going from Shin Osaka to Tokyo and there's one every 10 minutes. <laughs> so frequent. The different services have different names and they depend on which route you're on. So on this one between Osaka and Tokyo, there's the Nozomi, Hikari and Kodama and the difference is how many stations they stop at. With your JR pass, you're not allowed to go on the very fastest one, which is the Nozomi. Each individual train is referred to by that name and a number, so you don't get them mixed up. Today we're taking the Hikari 522 and you can see that name and number on your reservation and on all the signs. These signs tell you where the platforms are, they call them tracks here. They're really big and really easy to spot so you can easily see which way to go. One of the special things about going on the Shinkansen is you can get an ekiben. It's a really fancy lunchbox with lots of different ingredients and they're wrapped up, they look like presents some of them and some of them come in permanent holders that you can keep like there's some in wooden boxes and I think one of them comes in a sort of porcelain pot they look really fancy and elaborate you can only get them at Shinkansen stations uh, you can usually find a shop a bit like this one selling it as you go towards the Shinkansen tracks then usually not too hard to find here's where you can get the ekiben there's a couple of shops like this at Shinosaka station and they always have them at Shinkansen station it's actually really difficult to pick which one to get there's so many different types and the labels are all in Japanese they're actually quite expensive they're a lot more expensive than a normal lunch would be they're, the cheapest ones are about 800 850 yen and they go up from around a thousand yen up to about 1500 I think there were some really big ones that are about 2,000 yen so it's not cheap but it is a nice treat if you're going on a long distance train videos helpful you can support Cakes with Faces by making a purchase from my shop. Everything's my own design and lots of them are inspired by Japan. 
There's worldwide shipping and you can get everything on cakeswithfaces.co.uk. This sign on the platform tells you the next trains that are coming in at this platform. We're on platform 23. If you can read here, Regana, first there's a Nozomi, then there's a Kagama, and then there's our one, Hikari 522 at 1.16. At the moment, it looks like the next two are out of service and then it's going to be ours coming into the platform. And they switch between Japanese and English as well. With your JR pass, you can go on any Shinkansen you want, apart from the very fastest one. This one that stopped here is a Nozomi and that is the fastest one. But the only difference between this one and the ones you can get with your JR pass is that this stops at a few, few at fewer stations. When we get ours, you'll be able to see the trains are exactly the same. And I think it still goes just as fast. It just stops at a couple more stations. There's more about taking the train and JR passes in my video, Getting Around Tokyo. I'll put the link in the description. I think they look so cool. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Shinkansen, bound for Tokyo. We'll be Again. stopping at all stations Ooh. before arriving at Nagoya. <laughs> Are you comfortable, Phil? <laughs> we got the spots at the end of the carriage for our suitcases, yes. <laughs> There's room for about four suitcases at the back be behind the last seats in the carriage. If you don't get them, don't worry because there is room to put your suitcase in front of your knees. There's quite a lot of leg room. And then if you've got hand luggage as well, you can put it on the racks above the seats. There's enough room along the top to put a small suitcase. These are the mini ones you can have as your hand luggage and you can put backpacks and things up there as well. This looks like a newer train than the one we were on the other day. It's still got pretty much the same facilities though and they're both really comfortable. My favourite thing to do on the Shinkansen is just look out the window and see all the buildings, the mountains, watch the scenery change and see how densely populated Japan is, even outside the cities. My other favourite thing to do is see how fast we're going and if you track your position on Google Maps, it really is amazing. drink from the 7-Eleven. Yuzu lemon is really delicious. It's a bit like lemon flavour with a softer taste. I actually have had this before at a sushi place once and I didn't know what it was. <laughs> I had some sushi rolls that looked like they had jam in them. It's kind of a quite strong salty sour flavour and it does have, you can tell it's plum if you knew. I don't think you'd be able to tell if you didn't know. It's got kind of the umeshu flavour, the plum wine flavour.
Finally, here's how to make reservations with your JR Pass, your Japan Rail Pass. You don't have to reserve a seat, but some trains can get busy, so it is recommended and it doesn't cost anything. We're just outside Hakata Station and the first thing to do is make our reservation for the Shinkansen. We're going to use our Japan Rail Passes and you can see up there there's a sign saying Shinkansen and JR lines and that's usually where the reservation office is. This is where you make your ticket reservations. It usually has a green sign or some green on the sign like this or this symbol with the seats on. Now I haven't seen these before. Last time we had a rail pass but here they have these little slips to fill in with, so you can tell them which train you want to get and which time which makes it a lot easier if you don't speak Japanese. The time we wanted was sold out so we've got the time after so we've got an hour to wait now so if you can it is better to make your reservations in advance or the night before. Also it can get really busy and there can be quite a long queue and it's the same place where people exchange their tickets for their rail passes so sometimes you could take quite a long time so make sure you build in extra time for making your reservation. Next time we're starting the Tokyo videos. There'll be more from my favourite places Harajuku and Akihabara and some completely new places as well. There's new videos every Thursday so subscribe if you want to see them and click the notification bell.